Welcome back to Jay Plays Any Games. We're about to head down to the planet. It should be fantastic. We, if you don't remember, are trying to build ourselves a stone furnace, which we should be able to do right now. And that will complete this portion of the quest. So we have to build a campfire, craft, and a stone furnace, which we need. Furnace, yes, there we go. And we're crafting away, and we've got a stone furnace. Quest complete. Awesome, it's about time we play with fire. Okay, next we have to create an iron bar out of iron ore. Uh, you need to get armor. Working with metal requires an anvil. But before we can craft one, we need to smelt some iron ore. Alright, except. Fair enough, we need to smelt us some iron ore. We also need to place that furnace down. So, it's in my inventory, I don't know what I'm doing here. Blam. Pop that stone furnace right down there. Or over here. There we go. We have a stone furnace. I don't know what the stone furnace is good for. Let's see. Uh, that, and it's good for smelting iron into... Okay. Now I suppose we're getting into the part of the game where we actually go downstairs. Now, I could search for a dungeon, but that's not me. I'm just going to go straight down and see what happens. I want to find a cave complex or something like that. It should be glorious. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my way out after I dig my way down. I do have that tendency that some people have to dig straight down and not be able to find a way out. And this isn't going to be like a permanent station for me, by the way, guys. This is a t totally a temporary environment. Uh, this is not going to be the planet I make my home base on, whatever it is. I will eventually spend a lot of time making a home base. Sorry if you guys don't want to just watch me build stuff, but that's what's going to happen. I'm going to build stuff. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be glorious things. Um, progressing into the nether here. I, I do fear my ability to go up is going to be compromised, but uh, whatever. I do what I want. Mainly I dig into the dirt. Down, down, down we go. I love the lighting in this game, I have to say that. Uh, this might have been a foolish endeavor. Perhaps this is not the path that I should be taking, but... Light! Yeah, just dirt everywhere. Alright, fair enough. Glad I have this tool. Maybe I should just dig straight down for a while. Who knows what's down there. Maybe I'll find some magma. Uh, some demons. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be here. Like, I remember Terraria and what was down in that, and that was freaking scary. Eventually you just hit obsidian. Okay. So let's put up a light here. It looks like I've encountered some stone, which might be promising things, but we're actually going to get around that stone. Tons of dirt, of course. I suppose I could have found, like, a dungeon. That makes way more sense than this ridiculous digging. But why not explore the truly unknown? I know that no one's ever been here before. What the odds are that I'll actually ever encounter anything. Uh, probably actually pretty good. And iron might be near this stone. The fact that I encountered the iron to begin with is probably promising. Oh look, there's something right over there. Maybe I am a genius and found the perfect way. That's probably what, copper? Not iron. But copper means there's other stuff. Yes, I look looks like I've found a cave complex by digging straight down like an idiot. Um, that's glorious. One of my most fun things to do is to explore caves, and that's what I'm going to do. Let's check this out. And is it a good opportunity to use our glorious flashlight? I'm going to dig up this copper wall in here. Though. I assume it's copper. We're going to see. Yep, copper ore. That was my guess. Okay. And let's see. Kablam. Now, I can do this and have fun with a glorious flashlight. That seems real scary. Uh, I'd rather place down torches. Um, oh, wow. Wow, I, this, this really does just kind of end off where I was digging. That's pretty fantastic. This is a totally hidden kind of place. I like that. I like that I found this. Like, if I went across the surface, sure, I'd find some, some stuff. I can get plant fiber, can't I? Might want to do that. Just get some. I never know. You never know what's gonna come valuable. The thing is, like 
this complex, what I just found, this little dungeon, I would have never found unless I dug straight down into the ground. Which is awesome. Of course, it looks like I'm going to be going rather deeper. And I see that water down there, which lets me think that maybe I'm going to run into a whole lot of nothing. But hey, it's still here. It's still for me to find, right? Uh, yeah, it looks like this is a whole lot of nothing. We're going to want to drink, go above this water with our next digging project. So I don't want to take the water along with me. So we're going to go off this way. More dirt. Infinite dirt. That is the way of things. Okay, and we're going to go around this water complex. But with one cave being here, it does give me hope that there are more caves. Hopefully this entire episode won't be just me digging into nothing. If it is, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it, dudes. The episode of Digging Into Nothing happens. I mean, if I show everything that I do in this game, there's bound to be episodes of me Digging Into Nothing. Sometimes, right? Or do other people play where they actually find dungeons, like intelligent people, instead of try to dig underground? I don't know how to play. I like to dig straight down sometimes, just to see what's there. Dig this way, dig that way. I like how this pickaxe knocks out so much at the time. We need some light. There we go. You're not seeing much in the way of iron at all. But there's stone here, which makes me think that if I keep digging down, maybe one day my fortune will. I heard something. I heard something new. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to take out any monsters that would be this low in the ground. I don't know how that works. I don't know if like things get stronger as you go underground, but I'm hearing monsters now, and that's scary. Okay, I'm, I'm trapped by my own ridiculousness. Fair enough, and we're gonna dig straight down through the stone. Fine. Uh, down we go. I do want to place torches every now and again so I can see around me, see if I see iron in the distance. I probably could have hunted up iron near the surface, but I've been itching to dig. Alright, let's place a torch. We've got nine left. If I run out of torches, I'm heading back to the surface, guys. I can see that my axe is actually taking some damage here. Which means maybe I should have made two of them. Uh, digging straight down into this, into the stone. Who knows what we'll find. I'm actually pretty confident that we'll find awesome things. What do you guys think, though? Somehow I dug, like, past where I was standing. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we were moving faster in the dirt. We really, really were. This is seriously going to be like 20 minutes of me just digging. You might want to skip ahead to where I'm killing things. Uh, or just wait for a different video. Oh, so much ridiculousness. Alright, and... Huh. Well, let's go this way and get out of the cobblestone because this is slowing us down too much. Dirt blocks. Dirt blocks. And cobblestone. Come on. How do I... How am I supposed to keep up commentary when absolutely nothing happens? Answer, I'm not really. I'm supposed to be smarter than to dig straight down into the nothing. Good thing I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to keep digging over this way. And if I don't find anything, eventually I'm just going to start going back up. And if I go up, maybe something will happen. Because I've got to be pretty deep underground. I'm hearing noises of enemies. Or at least underground creatures. Like, if I find some subterranean race, I'm going to be so excited. But I'm going to dig up and see where we come out on the surface, which is pretty cool as just the concept as well. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to go through some cobblestone to get there. But we might run into a dungeon on the way, that's my hope. I mean, I, I could just keep going deeper, but it seems foolhardy at this point. I uh, hope I don't run out of torches with the inability to make more. I don't have any idea what it takes to make torches. Probably figure that out soon. But I do have a flashlight anyway. It's going to take a little bit of time to get through all this stone. That's fine. 
We've got nothing but time, right, guys? Dirt, blocks, and cobblestone is the name of the game. What is our mission again? We're trying to find iron, right? Even just, like, two pieces would succeed in our mission. Um, it seems genius to me. It really does. All right, we're going to walk over here. Kind of dig upwards, slowly but steadily. Very nice. All this is getting damaged. It's all going to eventually get cut through. The stone does take a bit longer. But that's fine. We'll be breaking through the dirt eventually. Or hopefully just open area. That's what I'm really wanting. Is to break into like an open dungeon. I was so excited when I did it a second ago. I was like, oh, we found a dungeon underground that would have been impossible to find. But no, it was just like a, a brief crevice. Too bad there's no way of like just mapping the entire world. I know where these crevices are. If I was in a dungeon, but things would be happening, like me running into iron bars. But whatever. I never said we were going to achieve anything in this episode. I said we were going to try. But I didn't say we would actually achieve anything. Okay. Oh, whew. My mouse wheel moved. I was like... Okay, our stone pickups just died on me. But that didn't actually happen, which is good. Okay. And hopefully what this is, and I'm not being sarcastic at all here, is just a mountain of cobblestone, which will never end and will forever slow my progress. Uh, we'll find out about that right now. It is. We have found the cobblestone. That is not a good place to be Let's, uh, inventory. Lay our random stuff in cobblestone. Cobblestone can go right there. Okay. Actually, dirt. Dirt seems better. We can get some really big stacks. That's good. Uh, dirt block under me. Can I place it while jumping? I can. Excellent. I figured I'd be able to get out this way. Alright. We are gonna head back to the surface. This was actually productive. I have more dirt than I can ever possibly need, and I know the way out. And we're gonna look for dungeons the same way. So, yeah, that's gonna happen. Uh, we're already back to the surface. I'm, I'm a little ashamed about how little progress I made there. Okay. So running across this, oh, Bulbasaur. Oh my goodness. Okay, Bulbasaur. Come get some. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's actually kind of like a cross between Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Bullquirtle. Uh, these guys are not violent, right? These guys are on my... Whoa! Hey! Okay, okay Bulbasaur, I'm chase you down. Or this guy gets me. I do want some armor, so I can deal with these guys the same way. Um, I suppose this could be a dungeon that I could go into. Uh, that guy's not going to be friendly. Bang, light. Yeah, why didn't I come over here to start with? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Okay. Yeah, we should not have just jumped on it. There we are. Uh, let's inventory real quick before we go down. And actually crafting menu. How much, what, what do we need for torches? Coal and wood. Let's make some torches. Let's make like a million torches. Uh, one hundred. Now I have 23 torches. That's fine. Okay, and we're gonna place a torch there. And there, so we can see on ahead. Could also place one there. Hmm, which side do we want to go down? I'm thinking we're gonna check over here and then we're gonna go down the other side. Seems appropriate. This could actually be iron right here. And if it's just three pieces of iron, we can complete our quest immediately. Coal. Yeah, it was cold. Okay. And that's just a dead end. Fine, we'll go the other way. Go to our dirt blocks, jump up, bang. Oh, didn't work out for me. Alright, here we go. And let's pull out our shiny pickaxe. Get past this little bit of cobblestone. And now perhaps we'll have a more real adventure. One that doesn't involve us just digging to nowhere. Here we go place our torch down. Looks like there's a chest over there, which could be anything. Um, and there's that, which is probably coal, but we're going to 
check. I don't know what iron looks like yet. Also, may need that copper at some point. What? Why did I think there was a chest here? I swear I thought there was a chest here. Whatever. We're gonna pick up all this stuff. Um, coal ore. Yeah, there's just coal. And here we go, and there we go. Fine. And grab the copper. This is not gonna be deep, is it? Okay, let's uh, get rid of this dirt right here so I can go down. Check out with our, check it out with our flashlight. All right, this might be deep. Uh, interesting. It looks like we've got some stuff off to the left and some stuff off to the right. I am going to mine over here. Check this out. Kind of go around this water maybe because I don't want to be too watered down. There's like copper over there. And is this stone? It's probably stone. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's stone. Let's uh, let's go on down into here then. Flashlights ahoy. How deep can we go? Pretty deep. Uh, mining. can't really see. I don't know how water works in this version of the game, but should still be able to mine up and eventually come out of it, right? Uh, I did for a second there. Um, lowering the water level seems hilarious. Okay, let's, let's mine this way. It's hard to see underwater, and I'm running out of air. Alright, this did not work out as far as a method of lowering the water level. I'm going to find myself a different dungeon, I think. And let's get over here before our air runs completely out. <sighs> Alright. Let's find ourselves another dungeon. One that's deeper, perhaps. Uh, where's my dirt blocks? Got like 900 of them. Yep. And bang. Bang. Alright, and whenever I find coal, I will have the ability to make more happiness in the form of torches. I assume coal is my limiting factor. It could also be, uh, it could also be wood. Let's see. Uh, crafting menu, torches, I need unrefined wood. So when I go upstairs, I'll get myself some more wood so I can make more torches and find myself a new dungeon. I've done a little bit of spelunking at least, not a whole lot, but at least a little bit. We're gonna have so much infinite dirt that is crazy. Um, and useful. Crazy useful. There we go. Alright, and here we are. Let's get out of here. Uh, that guy looks violent, so let's just start off the play. Take him down. Oh god, I died. Really? All that and I died. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Yep, that's the sound of water, not soda. As I am reborn from plants. Alright, we're gonna go off to the right this time. And maybe something will happen in this episode. Something more than what has happened anyway. Um, we still got a while left for it. So let's head off. Uh, whoa, these are violent. Place it. Can't place swords there. Can't place swords there. Oh god. Uh, yeah, die, die, die. Get away from my place. I'm already almost dead. Wow, that took no time to almost die. So there we are. And that thing is dangerous. So what we're gonna do? that. Screw him. <laughs> I'm not messing with it right now. Uh, let's take out our torch and place it here. This could be an interesting little place. Uh, take out our flashlight. Anyway, what is this material here? That's different. Let's mine it and see what happens. Uh, it's just dirt. Okay, it's wet dirt, I guess. Maybe it's just nighttime dirt. 
do want to run into a tree at some point as I climb a mountain. Whoa! That looks different. Is that cobblestone? Or is it... Let's just put a torch here real quick. So I can tell if it's cobblestone or... No, it's just stone. Okay. I was like, whoa, I found it. But I didn't. Uh, on top of my mountain, I find a little bit of co Whoa! Aww. Really? Birds. Birds. I have been planted and regrown. Expect me to die a lot. Um, maybe after I get some armor, it'll be less common. But right now, I think expecting me to die a lot is a good idea. So, that's not the way down. Um, there's no trees in any direction but this way, so we're going to go this way with our axe. Uh, daytime is safer. I think. Okay. Nope. Nope. You're not going to hit me because you've been hard as hell. Yep. And back. Oh! Okay, whoa! And I'm almost dead again. That didn't take much. Oh, you were actually friendly! That feels so bad! There's two of them! I'm gonna die. This is my, this is my death pulse. There we go, they jump. Oh, I can only take on one at a time. Wow! This is gone from me being like, I'm gonna dig straight down to the earth and nothing's gonna happen the whole episode, to me being like, I'm gonna die over and over again. And then that's gonna be the entire episode. Yeah, that's, that's life. In a new game that I don't know how to play very well, apparently. All right, in Terraria that hole would have worked. This is not Terraria. Okay, more of this. I need to wait until daytime. I don't want to do nothing all night. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I just need to live. I just want to live. Ugh. Everything's so dangerous. It's probably a long time until day. Whoa! I did not know you were there. I thought it was just the other guy. I promise. Well, at least I only aggroed one. Uh, yeah. Yeah! Um, come get it. Alright, this, uh, this is a scary situation. I'm not gonna lie. Because we've still got other guy hanging out over here who I do not want to mess with. But I've got to, kind of. And I just need, I'm on the high ground, so he has to jump up to me. That seems to be what works. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You got no chance getting up here, son. Jump. Jump. Jump in range. Ooh, I got hit. Alright. Victory! Oh, Did not work. Oh, this Florian knows about death. I'm gonna have, like, the most recorded deaths in the first five hours of of Starbound's release. I almost called it Terraria. It's not Terraria. It's actually a vast improvement on that game. With a lot of elements that are not even there. Let's see. Can I go over here now? Did they all respawn because I died? They did not. Which is wonderful. Let's chop down this tree. Let's see how long it takes anyway. Timber! I really like the sound. Are you... Okay, you are not my enemy. Here's some food. There's a dungeon, which looks awesome, and like I should go there. Um, I don't know anything about these enemies. Yep, they're enemies. Okay, I have fought these before. They're not that different. Yeah, let's let's anger everyone that was friendly with us before, and that wasn't gonna happen, was it? Well, here's the good news. I chopped down a tree. I chopped down a tree, and that means we get lots of torches if we want to. Other good news. I saw a new material in there that I'm pretty sure could be iron. 
the bad news. I keep dying, and that kind of sucks. What is that planet over there? I'm going to go to that planet over there next. I wonder if that's how it works. Like, you can actually see a planet in the distance and go to it. That would be awesome. Ooh, not an enemy. Okay, we have to get back over there. These birds. Flames. Air fire world? Are you serious? There we go. I want a bird of my own as a pet. Or follow me around and like me in my there was a four, there was a thread on the floor for what kind of pet would you want. I, I want a lightning bird that I can name both days. I'm not lying. That's straight up what I want. I didn't play that much Pokemon. I'm just a total poser. But still. Pokemon. Pokemon monsters. Pokemon are the Pokemons. Um, I'm sorry that I made those noises. Is this seriously where I went down before? Oh, great. I've been in there. That doesn't have any copper. It doesn't have any iron. Maybe over here has some iron? Let's check it out. We've got a new thing. Okay, you're not an enemy. Um, not really. Just some wet ground. Alright. Explored. Consider yourself explored. Um, dirt block. Anywhere. Like so. And we're out. Very nice. Let's climb a mountain. I am nervous as crap. Okay, these are enemies, and those guys get aggroed if I hit them. So let's... I have the disadvantage. Okay, now I've got the height advantage. The height advantage. When he pops, I can just go whack down. Get time it again. And, oh god. Okay, ah, he jumps into it. I jumped... Oh no, one of these things. These are the nice things of death. Things. I don't want new things. Okay, 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 okay. You guys, stay there. Stay there and drown. Uh, I'm almost dead. I know the way to heal is through non-violence. No, it's not through eating, is it? Actually, I can just click this medical kit and use it. Okay, it didn't do as much as I hoped. I maybe eating heals. I don't think so though. We got lots of food here. It will not poison me since I'm flooring. No, it doesn't heal. The only way I think to, you can heal is by uh, not just being awesome. Okay. Here we go. Bang. Here we go. Bang. Oh! I'm, I'm alive. I'm dead. Uh, the healing have to make a bed and sleep in it and that heals you maybe it has to count as a house or something I'm not sure on that I'm gonna try hitting right that seems accessible I really really want to find an iron bar soon like in the next couple of minutes because I'm gonna have to end the episode pretty soon and it's just not happening maybe when days time Jesus these guys are monstrous Okay, they do, they can kill me in three hits. That's the problem. Uh, they level four. And you can just die of some That's fine. Okay. Whew. I want better weapons. Is what I want. All right, we're gonna head over here. I'm gonna aggro him. Oof. Okay, I'm glad I didn't aggro him because my intent didn't come to fruition there. Um. Aggro. Oh, he jumped higher than me. I was trying to get the height advantage, it didn't work out. That worked. Okay. Didn't even take any damage. We're heading towards daytime. Maybe the monsters get nicer. Uh. Bird. Moldrez! Jeez. See, this is the kind of bird I want. Oh, I, I realize he's not shooting lightning. But still, he's shooting something. Eventually, I want it to be lightning. I'm not going to win this fight. I'm not going to win this fight. This bird is going to kill me. Oh, God. I think I got him with me. If that's any consolation, you guys see me die over and over again. All right, this episode has been horrible. <laughs> but um, that's okay. We are going to continue this series. Eventually, one day, I will find iron. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.